Hello, it's Jason Payne for Coal Banker Dean Hub Realtors. Well, if you've been watching my videos for you, right, you'll realize that I kind of specialize in higher end new construction production homes. And over the years, a lot of those sales reps, well, they've got to know me pretty well. And the benefit to that is when something comes back on the market that might be a great deal for a buyer, they give me a call and say, hey, Jason, can you come promote this house? Well, one of which is the Monticello home you see right behind me in the Grove section of Vintage Oaks. It's a great home and this house is gonna be completed in December. So yeah, let's go check it out. Now the beautiful home you're looking at is not on MLS. So you guys are getting a sneak peek. This is a four bedroom, three bath house on a cul-de-sac. It's got a two and a half car garage with an extension and yeah, this corner lot's really nice we are at the front part of the community these were are the model homes i believe perry and scott felder the only one that still have their models available that's 46 right over there but on this side of the road you're really not going to get road noise but this is a feature i want you to see this is their fitness center which i've done a video tour of i'm going to post that up here in the box got a lap pool full gym really nice being able to just walk straight from your house over to the fitness center and go swim some laps all right let's head on inside and see remember this house is under construction so we got a little construction noise uh talking to the sales rep they're expecting it to be completed sometime in december so uh yeah this is a great opportunity this community is getting ready to be closed out which also offers an opportunity because yeah these uh builders want to be done all right this is the edmund plan uh so i will be putting a printout of the floor plan at the end of this video but you notice right to come in super tall ceilings sorry no electricity yet but it's coming like i said a guy working he's working on doing some steps there are some few steps going down into the garage it's the mud room with a big laundry room set up. Got your little mud section area for hanging your backpacks, putting your shoes down if you want. One of the neat things I like about this plan is you've got three bedrooms all up on the front of this house. Here's going to be your open to the public bathroom, full bath. But still, it's a little further away from where I would be hanging out, so no one's hearing you do your business, which is always nice. But yeah, here's one of the bedrooms. Good size bedroom with a little mini walk-in closet. Access the attic there. We're gonna walk around there. Here's gonna be kind of the shared bathroom, especially if you've got some kiddos, this will be their bathroom. A little shower tub combination. Like I said, then we got these two bedrooms over here. Wow, this one's got an even bigger closet. Oh, and really nice size bedroom setup with a good view of the Texas Hill Country. I love the location of this community. That's why I've been doing a lot of uh, videos over the years of Vintage Oaks because you're literally just eight minutes away from the grocery store, all the community shopping, but you still kind of feel out in the country. Tax rate, oh, almost missed a bedroom. Tax rate in this section of Vintage Oaks is gonna be right at 2% because there is a public improvement district tax Hopefully I said that right. Uh, bringing it from like that 1.8 up to 2%. So uh, definitely lower tax, property taxes compared to other places. I live in Church, Texas. It was about a 20 minute drive from here. And I'm at 2.5. So that's a little bit higher than uh, here. All right, let's go into the main area. Ooh. Before we hit the main area, let me show off this flex room. You notice there's no office right up front. They have that area poured into a bedroom, but this could easily be an office space, uh, movie space. Looks like the people who originally were having this built, they got the 
ethernet port right there on the walls, making this kind of a movie room type thing. Lots of light in here, but this is a big room. This is bigger than most flex spaces I normally see. This house is almost 3,000 square feet. So it's like 90, 29, 50-ish. But coming into the main space, you'll see where this square footage is at. It's all in here. That's a lot of square footage in this living space where you can really do whatever you want to do with this space. Love the kitchen. Like I said, the original people who purchased this house picked out all the design features. So they picked out the backsplash, picked out the colors, gonna be white, very popular right now, the white and off grays. You're gonna have your corner pantry, very standard. What's not standard is you don't often see the pot filler addition. That's pretty good upgrade. And you're gonna have your gas cooktop right there. Speaking of which, this is a natural gas community, so that's nice. And this is definitely an upgraded sink feature with pretty much the highest end uh, farm sink you can have. So that's gonna be a really nice kitchen once this is all put together. Moving along, we have your dining room area, lots of space, especially if you want to do some family gatherings. High ceilings already coming throughout the house. A little bit of a step up in the main living area as far as ceiling height. But yeah, this is gonna be nice. Something else that's also nice is this backyard. Uh, on this stretch where all the model homes are, you're gonna have a larger backyard than you'll find in most places in this community. In the Grove section, which is more of a traditional size. Usually they're quarter acres. These are uh, um, bigger than that. These are almost, I wouldn't say a full half acre, but they are definitely larger. There is gonna be a privacy wall built up here, probably coming along the side there and then going back and connecting. So you're not gonna be seeing all the people driving down the road. Uh, yes, you are gonna have somebody kind of right up there behind you but that's nothing uh here in texas we have what's called red tips they grow pretty fast and act as a uh, barrier if you need to so just so they're not looking into your house and you're not looking into theirs but these are some of the neighbors these houses got gobbled up real fast because people realize like man they're gonna have a big flat backyard and of course right next door to the uh, fitness center is always nice. Um, as Vintage Oaks is getting built out, I mean, there's really not much left here. The traffic for all the construction stuff is gonna start winding down. So you're not gonna see as many big trucks as you are right now. Oh, I see they got the gas hook up on the outside. But putting that privacy fence up will cut down on some of that. The good thing is you're not getting the road noise from 46 because that's just not going to ever stop. All right, let's go check out the master bedroom. See, we got an eight foot door leading into here. Once again, good sized door. Um, I didn't mention it yet, but the sun uh it's not going to be sitting on the back of the house which is nice the sun's going to be setting more off this direction so you're not going to have it like setting right back behind you there and melting on your back porch that's definitely a plus if you went for this house and here's the bathroom this is going to be a big bathroom monticello loves their freestanding tubs which is quite expensive to usually do Get a little sneak peek of what this tile looks like. They got it mostly covered there. But dual vanities, big window. You can always put some blinds up on there. Spacious water closet so you're not feeling crowded, which is also nice. And a nice mud inset shower with some upgraded features. Now check this out. Check out the size of this closet. You've got your shoe 
uh, space right here, and I hope you can still see it with the light. I think it's coming out okay. But man, this lock closet goes back quite a ways, and quite a bit on this side. So yeah, this is a really good size closet. Now, uh, the damn telemarketers. Sorry about that. Um, now, if you're working with a realtor and you're seeing these videos, feel free to have your real, you keep stay with your realtor, you don't have to use me. Uh, but yeah, I'm doing this because it's a great house and great event, great opportunity. But if you're not using a realtor and you're out there searching and you see this video, feel free to reach out to me. Uh, people don't realize that, especially when new construction production homes, it doesn't cost you anything to use a realtor. So please do not go through this process alone. All right, let's go wrap up a tour of this Edmund plan built by Monticello Homes in the Grove section of Vintage Oaks. I hope you found this video informative. And if you did, hit that like button. Of course, I want you to subscribe to my channel. And if you're interested in this home at all, Feel free to shoot me a text. My contact information is going to be on the last slide of the video. Or if you want to schedule a Zoom conversation with me, that link is going to be in the description box. And uh, of course, thank you for watching my videos. Have a wonderful day. All right, take care now. Bye.